So just thinking about how buyers are going to view the risk profile and is it worth it? Does, does the amount of risk or does the amount of reward outweigh the risk in terms of, uh, of how they look at it? And so you can actually boil this down. And when you think about multiples as a function of risk, you can think about as an example, like a three times, um, a three times multiple on your EBITDA or discretionary earnings, let's just say cash flow is like a 33% um, internal rate of return on, on, on that money that you're putting forward. So you can kind of run the numbers in terms of what that looks like for a buyer and then how they, how they might think about um, the return that they can expect. And if the business is growing, now that calculation changes. This is assuming no growth, like zero growth, or it's, you know, totally, you're, you're totally plateaued. And so that, that functions into it as well. So you can imagine if that's decreasing or you're churning now that, now that return doesn't look as great for the buyer and they have to, they have to put in safeguards so that, um, they get the return they're looking for, or they, um, at least don't, you know, completely lose their shirt and it just takes them longer to, to return the, the value there. But that's functionally how somebody's looking at this is. There are calculations that are being made to, uh, you know, even though there's an emotional component about whether or not you buy a business or not, you just have to still be able to make it pencil, if you will. Like you still need to understand, is this going to be, is a risk worth the return here? Yeah. In the market, then it's just not worth it. 